Hey all, Peyton Marie here with another video. Um, and these, this video and a few others I'm going to do um, covering the different things that came out at Gen Con this year, uh, Gen Con 2021. So a lot of stuff uh, more specifically surrounded around uh, Kill Team mostly. Uh, they also had some stuff for like Warhammer Underworlds and some Necromunda stuff. Um, I'm not really going to touch on those too much as I don't really cover or play those games. Uh, but I mostly want to look into the kill team. There are a few things in there that uh, actually piqued my interest a bit. So uh, this first one is just going to be going over uh, the, I guess, kind of new starter kit set thing that they have coming out and kind of talking about that and kind of the road forward. And then I'll be diving into the next, uh, I guess, campaign box uh, that they have um, that's going to be coming out. And then there's the next uh, video will be covering the new action figures that they've that we've kind of seen already, but they kind of go more in depth a little bit in the article. So, all right, without further ado, let's jump into this. So, all right, so this is going to be covering the first new of uh, the Kill Team. So Gen Con, the new Kill Team box is the perfect way to get started. So you go down and it's day one of Gen Con. We're busy enjoying the fun and treating all those who have tended to some exclusive reveals. Well, now it's your turn as we're going to show you one of the new box sets that's uh, on display at the event, the Kill Team Starter Set. Uh, so here, as you can see already, and we'll get into more, you have the Oryx First Creek. Now everyone's like, well, they just had that. Well, um, this is not going to be as, um, or not going to have as many things in it as the, uh, I guess, the campaign box, Octarius. Uh, so it's, well, I mean, they'll go into it a little bit down here, but obviously you can see right here in this picture, uh, you don't have the big orc terrain. You still have some of the barricades and other like orc scatter terrain and some other barricades and stuff, uh, but not the buildings and stuff. And you still get the same uh, 10 man kill teams on either side. So this beauty brings you kill teams key elements to make learning the principle of the game easy in addition to a double-sided card, game board, and a variety of orcs scatter train it also contains a full complement of kill team miniatures for orcs and death core of Krieg. All right, so it's the easiest way to learn the game. It's been designed specifically for new players. It comes with a recruit edition booklet, a 56 page how-to guide, including a series of tutorial missions, as well as compact version of the game's full core book and all the tokens you'll need to play. So this is cool. This is something they used to do. Um, at some of the starter sets, I want to say Dark Vengeance was the last time we've seen it come with like in, in regular Warhammer 40k, like the small rule book for 40k. Uh, so it looks like they're going to be doing similar. Now these look hardback. Now this is a small of the core rules and then you still have a big one, but um, pretty sure it's not hardback though. It just kind of looks like it in this picture, but I'm sure it's still the same, uh, whatever soft soft top copy or whatever um but it doesn't look like you're getting the full octarius rules and missions and stuff so you're just getting i'm assuming the recruit edition has um basically just the rule just kind of basic rules for those two factions i guess i'm not sure maybe it'll say more and then you have your tokens and the core rules what's more this set is a great value way to start setting or start your skirmish battles on 48 40 first millennium, saving you money and picking up the individual parts separately. All right, so then here we have the Death Court Krieg again. And then you have the Orcs. Uh, no, we're not teasing you, but by popular request, the Death Court Krieg and Orc miniatures for Kill Team will be indeed available separately. So again, if you don't want to get all the other things or you don't have someone to split the box with, um, you can then by specifically the kill teams. Now, the interesting thing here, to me at least, is the packaging. Um, they specifically say kill team on them. Now, I'm pretty sure you will be able to play these in regular 40K as well, um, but these are definitely, you know, the way this is packaged, um, set up specifically for kill team. Um, now, and I'll go into this a little bit in the next video covering the new, um, I guess, campaign box set that's coming out. Um, but it, it's interesting, I guess, because of the next box, like how they're going to work that as well. But I would assume 
that this uh, are still good. They're just kind of like trying to focus these ones specifically on chill team versus 40K. So as far as the commandos go, now both of these are both completely new kits, right? New, new unit, well, kind of new units, but they're new kits. So uh, as far as I know, like I guess there's veteran guardsmen in the Astro Militarum Codex. I, I don't play them regularly, so I don't have that codex. Um, but they weren't like specifically Death Corp Creek. So, um, so the fact that we have this now is, I guess, kind of uh, a new unit. It's definitely a new kit, but I guess not necessarily a new unit. Same thing with the Commandos. You have um, a new kit because the old ones, which were uh, all fine cast, are no longer, like you can't find them on uh, the Games Workshop website. Uh, so now we have these to replace them. So even though it says kill team, uh, like I said, pretty sure that they're interchangeable. Like you can still use them in regular games. All right. And that's, I mean, that's it for here. That's all that they have here. So it's very interesting. Uh, they're kind of taking a similar approach to the way they did with 40 K when the new edition came out. Um, when I say new edition, I'm talking about eighth edition now we're in ninth and I have to look more in to see if they have done this as well but I remember when eighth came out you had like the the dark imperium set that came out but then they had like a, a starter set and they had like a recruit set I can't remember that what the other ones they had were I think they've done the same again with that um and again like it's just kind of like you get like a starter set that comes with like two squads or then you get like the next or like it was like the recruit edition and you get the next one and it, I can't remember what level it was, but then it came with like three units on each side and like a little box that you could use as like a building. So it's kind of like the same idea here with this, just you don't get the, um, the buildings and then it doesn't look like you get any of the rulers and measuring devices as you did in the first one or like extra dice or anything, but you get some of the, you get the tokens and you get some books. Um, I think it'd be really cool as far as the way that you get the books, um, the smaller version stuff is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, in general, um, you know, we don't know a price point yet. You know, the, the other box set was $200, which in my mind, um, I actually ended up passing on this, even though I really like, I mean, I really like both factions. I've got a ton of stuff already that is in my backlog that I'm trying to work on and focus on now. So as much as I would have loved to got that, I would just had a lot more backlog. Um, so then prioritize, you're trying to pick between the two. You know, would I prefer orcs or Krieg? Well, I really like the Krieg and I had a cool idea with them and I still plan on trying to pick them up at some point. But like, again, it's just kind of like, you know, $200 was a lot. So I was like, well, let me wait and see what else comes out. Well, now this is out. So this is even, a, it's a little bit more tempting because now, you know, we got, you still get, I could still get the two factions. Like I said, I really do like the orcs as well and be fun to, to build and paint. But um, again, like having the extra terrain and just again, like another faction, like as much as I would love to paint the orcs, like they would definitely be like a lower on the tier of things to do. And I would hate for them just to sit and never get touched forever until finally I'm just like, you know what? I'm never going to get to these and I, and I have to end up selling them or something, which would be unfortunate because they're really cool. I would like to get to them. Like I said, there's so much going on um so yeah so it's kind of again like is it really worth it for just the creek models essentially and then try to sell off like the terrain and the orcs um I don't, i'm not sure i'm still a little bit on the fence on it because then also um you do get these books this would be another way to get this book obviously you wouldn't get the compendium which i'm still i'm kind of like waiting off on that as well because right now it's it's pretty much just an index it's very generic um i don't really need it unless it's got I guess a unit I'm trying to play and kill team right, right away. And it's going to be a little while before I'm even going to be able to play any games um, in real life. So at this point, it's kind of like, I don't really need to get that. And I might as well just kind of wait till the factions I want to play actually get their book released, which I'll, I'll cover more in the, the next video. So um, I don't know. It seems like a good deal, but I honestly, I mean, they took out the terrain. Um, and for me to want to get this, if this, if the price point for this was a hundred dollars, I, I definitely, I, I'd be like, you know what? Yes, I'm going to do it. 
because like right now I've even looked online um, just to see what it would be like for people to just sell on the creek side of things. And they're just, they're literally not, they're not, there's no rules, no dice, no terrain, no measuring devices. It doesn't even say it comes with token. It's just literally the death core creek sprues. People want 75 plus, like 75 is like the, the lowest amount that I've been able to find. And I'm just like, that's ridiculous. That's almost half the price of the box. And I'm not even getting like basically half, half of the box worth for that, or even, you know, the $25 off, you know, I wouldn't say like, you know, those, those bottles are now worth $75 worth of the box. So it would to say that, so the other $75 is the orcs. And then the 50 is the train, the books, the tokens, the diet, like all that. I'm like, eh, I don't know how that computes exactly. It doesn't, in my mind, it doesn't. So I don't know. So I haven't picked them up off of there because of that reason. And again, like, you know, how, how much are these boxes going to end up costing? You know, it's been a premium on these uh, lately. Like the, I feel like they're really pricing a lot of things out, and especially for myself. Like, you know, I've got a, a family of four, four kids and just with things going on in the world now and with the lockdowns and everything still like I prioritize the food on the table rather than plastic in my backlog. You know, <laughs> it's just what it is. Um, so you know, individually, these boxes here, I, I hope that they're in a decent price. Um, I could definitely see them going for at least 50. Um, hopefully not much more than that. That's going to be kind of rough if they are, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, hopefully they're in a decent price range and then I'll most likely pick up the Krieg models at some point. Um, but, you know, if they are priced up a bit, I'm not rushing to get them because it's just kind of like it would be a nice to have kind of thing. Because um, there's definitely like I already have um, a kill team of uh, Tempestus Scions that I can, uh, I mean, I have enough of different various models to paint where I could have a, um, a, a legal team under the new rules. So I'm not too concerned about like not having a team that I can play right off the bat. Um, the only thing with those is like because of the helmets on them I've used are a puppet's war helmets, so I, I technically can't use them in any official games workshop event. Um, but I could, you know, still use them in local and like other events that are not a, an official games workshop ran event. So um, I'm not too concerned on that. And there is another kill team that I was uh, wanting to start and and waiting to see kind of like what happens with that faction. Um, that if I was to do, um, I guess, a more games workshop, um, hundred percent, I guess, uh, army or kill team, it would be that faction. Um, and I had a whole plan too, of potentially doing a really cool conversion using Necromanda and games workshop thing. But, um, I'm going to cover this more in the other video. Some, some things have recently happened that I'm uh, actually going to probably scrap that conversion idea. Um, and actually go the cheaper route of just not converting, um, which is actually kind of a weird thing. I mean, there will be some minor conversions here and there, but it's not going to be near as significant as what I initially had planned. But I guess I'll cover that more in the video. So, all right, let me know what you think. Is this, uh, is this neat? Is this cool? This seems to be the route they're going. Um, so we have your campaign box comes out. Then a, a month or so, I guess, after. It seems like every three months, this seems to be the rotation. I'm not sure, but uh, about a month or so later, you're going to get the announcement of the next Kill Team campaign box, as well as um, a starter set. And I don't know if that starter set will stay around forever. That'll be the other thing, if that stays. Okay, sorry. So, um, but yeah, so it seems like that. And then um, then, the, then once they release the, the new, I guess, uh, faction or uh, kill team campaign box, or whatever you want to call it, then they're going to release the previous two factions in standalone boxes. I don't, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep changing the starter set. I think that starter set of Orcs and Krieg are going to stay throughout for a little while anyway. Um, and instead, we'll get the new campaign box with the, the individual releases of the new units that were in that campaign box being sold separately so um but yeah so let me know what you think is this you know good bad indifferent you know again i think it's good 
the only thing I would have to complain about, which I can't even because I don't know yet, is the potential price point because that's already been the kind of stickler for me, um, at least with the um, the current box sets. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, all right, well, we'll see. Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, uh, hit the like. I greatly appreciate it. And check out my other links in the description below to my Facebook, Instagram, and uh, Twitch as well. And until next time.